Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Finally, the Ministry of Defense has placed an order with Heavy Vehicles Factory Avadi Chennai for the supply of 118 main battle tanks Arjun MK1A for the Indian Army. The order worth will be 7,523 crore. This production order opens up a large avenue in defense manufacturing for over 2,000 Indian vendors, including MSMEs, with employment opportunities to around 8,000 people. This is why indianization of the defense sector is important because the money spent remains in the country. The MBT Arjun MK1A has been designed and developed by Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment CVRDE, along with other laboratories of DRDO. It is designed to enhance firepower, mobility, and survivability infused with 72 new features and more indigenous content from the MK1 variant. The tank would ensure effortless mobility in all terrains besides precise target engagement during day and night, though due to its heavy weight, it is not suitable to high altitude warfare. The Arjun tank features a 120mm rifled tank gun capable of firing a variety of guided and unguided anti-armor munitions. The integration of gun-launched SAMHO anti-tank guided missile is also planned for MK1A. In addition to the main gun, the Arjun has two machine guns, a 12.7mm NSP heavy machine gun mounted in the front of gunner's hatch for engaging armored vehicles, low-flying aircraft and attack helicopters. In MK1A version, this gun will be remotely operated without exposing personnel to the hostile battlefield. Another 7.62mm machine gun is provided in a coaxial weapon mount. At the moment, Arjun MK1A carries a total of 39 rounds of different types of ammunition. The Arjun tanks are equipped with indigenous fire control system developed by BEL called Integrated Fire Control System IFCS. The Arjun's IFCS is designed for quick target acquisition with first round, first hit probability during day and night and in all weather conditions. The IFCS offers high accuracy and slewing speed for engaging moving targets while on the move. The Arjun Gunner's main sight has been integrated with laser range finder, day sight and thermal sight for day and night target recognition and engagement and dual magnification and fiber optic gyro based two axis stabilization. The site is integrated with an automatic target tracking system developed by DRDO. The Arjun tank uses ERA MK2 and Kanchan composite armor, which is better than any Western tanks and even T90 beasts being operated by Indian Army. The Arjun tanks can take a point blank shot from T72 tanks. It has already proven to defeat HES, H, and AP FDS rounds, which are the only two best ammunition used in all tanks. The Arjun MK1 has a completely redesigned turret protected with improved Kanchan armor with enhanced protection against large caliber kinetic energy projectiles, explosive reactive armor, ERA panels on the turret, hull glasses and the side skirt. The MK1A also has non-explosive reactive armor and ERA protection. The tank has nuclear, biological, chemical protection and an automatic fire detection and suppression system for enhanced crew protection and survival. Powered by an MTU 838K501 turbocharged 10 cylinder liquid cooled diesel engine with a rated power output of 1400 horsepower at 2400 rpm, the tank has 70 km top speed and a 40 km per hour cross country speed and a range of 450 km. Army has conducted extensive trials of Arjun tank for three years and almost 6,000 kilometers. No other tank has been tested so extensively. However, the major feature which is lacking in Arjun tank MBT is the APS or Active Protection System. The Active Protection measures ensures the survivability of crew and the vehicle as well as the capability to detect low signature shooters and engage them in seconds. While DRDO is still working on developing indigenous active protection measures, it will still take 2-3 to three years for its developmental trial. 
there are not many APS offered at present and Rafael's trophy is the best among all which is already a battle proven platform. It is already in use on Merkava 3 and 4 MBTs and Neymar APCS and was selected by US Army for the Abrams MBT family. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.